I am, today is Saturday morning. I have about uh, 104 kilometers of mileage left on the car, which is about 27, 26%, I think, uh, uh, as I saw this morning on the app. Uh, so just in case we're gonna be put into another lockdown anytime, meaning uh, household lockdown, the way that they had done it several times in the past few weeks that uh, they didn't allow us to go out, walk or drive in the neighborhood. I decided that I'm gonna find someone else's charging port and uh, top up the car. So um, I looked on the app and Fortunately, there is this one Neo owner that shares his charging port on his parking spot, underground parking spot. And he's located about um, several blocks away from my apartment building. I am on my way driving to his uh, parking ground and let's see what it's like. So my parking ground, underground parking ground was number three and I am looking for a number one in this neighborhood. Uh, but I barely knew where that was. Uh, that's number five. Uh, let me change my hand because there's got a reflection of Nomi on the screen from the sun. People are so used to taking walks in the neighborhood. Uh, so when they, when they see a car, they kind of look at you in, in a weird way, like I'm blocking their, their passage. It's a sunny day. Um, this has been our, let's see, today is May, gosh, I don't even know what day it is today. Hey, Nomi. Hey. 今天是哪一天? 刚刚走神啦,一会儿再找我闲聊吧. Hey, Nomi. 在哪? 今天是几月几号? 今天是2022年5月14日,星期六,农历4月14,周末到了,尽情享受生活吧 Okay, okay, I'll enjoy life, sure Today is May 14th, Saturday uh, So that's uh, about the 45th day that we are on lockdown Neo has done pretty well 45 days uh, the power drops by 70%, I would say. It's still alive. It's, to be honest, it's better than we had thought because, uh, as you know, we only got uh, the EC6 in March, late February, early March. So uh, we really had no idea how long it would take for the battery to drain itself if we just kept, keep, kept parking it. That's number two. Gee, man. Uh, ah, where's number one?
see a lot of people selling uh, like groceries. Uh, delivery guys loading stuff off at the front gate of the neighborhood because uh, basically that has been how merchandise come in the neighborhood uh, for a month to block contact um, but this has also like encouraged people's desire for food for drinks, for like anything that weren't even necessary before the lockdown. But it's the kind of fear that um, you're going to run out of food anytime that encourages people to stock things that they don't even need. So the same kind of psychology happened to us. Uh, and we've had more than we need in the past month just by getting stuff from that uh, gate um, that people delivered to us. And of course we paid online. That's number one. Okay. I have to honk because I'm not registered here. Maybe I have to call the property office or something. Okay, it's open. Thank you. Uh, let's see, I texted him yesterday and he said uh, his parking spot number is about 400 something. Uh -huh. It's a relatively small parking ground. Um, have to back up. I'm a good driver, huh? I can shoot a video and drive at the same time. I'll bet a lot of you do that when you drive at a slow motion. Four forty I need to back in because that's closer. Not sure if I have told you that I wasn't quite used to how big the car was and 
back it in a tight parking spot like this always made me nervous. But now uh, things have smoothed out and I've got quite used to just checking out this uh, screen and gauge where I measure the distance because uh, the distance from blocks or the wall and I'm feeling quite comfortable with it thanks to the measurement, the digital technological measurement it's better than any eye measurement that uh, I could ever have okay there's the charging port All right, park, and let's check it out. So, uh, this is his box. I guess someone pays to install an extra safety box uh, on their charging port. Uh, push. Now what do I do? How do I... How do I open it? I have to... Let me check his message. He sent me this morning. How do I open this thing? Mmm... Okay, I'm on parking spot 448. I have moved my car. I did unlock the box. Press the button. Very nice, he told me to press the button. Press the push button. Oh, and to like sort of twerk it. Oh, that's how you open this. Okay. Nice, very clean. I like it. So this basically will be how your charging port is going to look like if you have one installed at home. Let's see. Oop, that's not it, it's on the other side. See, that's how dumb I am. I barely knew which side of uh, the car goes with which kind of charge we need. It. We need it to be longer. I need to put a balance in there, I guess I'll top 100. Okay. So I top up first and then I could use this charger. Nice. 
Okay. Device connecting. Okay. Boosting charge. It might take 30 to 90 seconds. Please wait patiently. All right. Hmm. Hmm. This be more than 30 seconds, I guess. All right, I'll tell you what happens later, okay? I might need to call him now. All right, now it's uh, being charged. Now it's more complicated than I had thought. Uh, so I had to call the share, the other car owner, to come down here and help me, uh, I guess. I guess something went wrong because uh, uh, my minimal experience with charging a car uh, didn't allow me much experience to put this charging port in the slot. So he came down and helped me to, to, <coughs> to insert it firmly. Now it's charging. So that's it. Now I'm on my way back. He told me he's also an EC6 owner. Uh, this is the first time he's shared his charging port, although he's listed uh, his spot in the app for a long time. I guess uh, kind deed comes in handy for those who need it, and I'm the lucky person.